Hi, I'm Deborah Mobies at the Murder Mystery Quilt, and it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to the 2025 Murder Mystery Quilt. Since 2015, it has been my joy to host the Murder Mystery Quilt, to write the mystery story, and to design the quilt that we'll all be sewing together. This year, in 2025, it is our 10th anniversary, and I have planned a lot of fun surprises for all of us along the way. This video is your welcome to get you acquainted with our community and our project so that you know exactly what to expect in the months we'll be spending together ahead. The Murder Mystery Quilt is the original community where you sew the quilt to solve the crime and you get to catch a killer with just your noodle and your needle. For 12 months together, from January of 2025 through the end of the year, every month you will receive one chapter of an original mystery story and one quilt block that comes together to form a finished project in the end. Clues to solve the mystery in the story are hidden in the quilt blocks. So you sew the quilt to solve the crime. It is such a fun, warm community of whimsical, smart, clever, experienced people who can't wait to meet you, get to know you, and help you make a quilt together. I knew ahead of time that 2025 was going to be our 10th anniversary and it feels like such a big deal. I wanted it to be a really exciting, exotic location, some place that lots of us dream about going, but maybe we'll never get to go. And this is our opportunity to be armchair travelers and go there. So in 2025, the Murder Mystery Quilt is headed to Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is an ancient citadel in Peru. It was built around the 1500s by the Incan people. The entire civilization that they constructed, the physical things they built over those 100 years is borderline overwhelming, almost incomprehensible. And Machu Picchu is the crown jewel of that. There are roads leading to Machu Picchu that travel all over South America for thousands of kilometers. The citadel itself is built entirely of stone. Some parts of it fitted so closely together you cannot fit a sheet of paper between the stones. It rises above the landscape at a height of almost 9,000 feet above sea level. And it is one of the most visited locations on the planet by tourists. It's such a magical place and I am enthralled and enthused to create a quilt celebrating Machu Picchu to share with all of you. Our mystery story is also based in Machu Picchu. We have a central character at the Murder Mystery Quilt. She has been with us for 10 years. Her name is Kitty Campbell and she works as an archeologist. In a lot of ways, she's what archeologists would call a shovel bum, which means she goes from excavation to excavation around the world. And that gives us a lot of fun opportunities at the Murder Mystery Quilt to incorporate the colors of so many magical landscapes into the quilts that we are making to solve the crimes in which Kitty Campbell finds herself. This year we are using the colors of the landscape of Peru as Kitty Campbell solves a murder at Machu Picchu. She and her team discover a mummy which would be like a really big deal for any archaeologist but then it turns out it's not an ancient mummy. The quilt that we are building helps us solve the murder of the mummy she finds at Machu Picchu using the colors of the Peruvian landscape and I am over the moon about this color palette. It is so beautiful. Not only do we have these rich greens of the landscape of Peru that goes all the way from the, the Amazon in northern Peru, the Urubamba is directly below Machu Picchu, all the way up through the leaves of the plants that go high at, into the altitude, 16,000 feet at Lake Titicaca in northern Peru. These greens are restful and magical and mystical. We have all of those greens, plus we have the blues of the sky itself, the grays and the rich lichen gray green of the rocks that build the citadel. But then, just when you think, I mean, it's not gonna be a really exciting color palette, we get the textiles of Peru. Peruvian textiles are world renowned for how beautiful these handmade cloths are. We've got everything from blankets, to garments, to hats, to decorative textiles. All these things are made and hand woven throughout Peru with these hand dyed yarns, usually wool, sometimes llama or alpaca. And the colors, they're just exceptional. As natural and earthy as the landscape of Peru is, 
The colors of the textiles in Peru are the opposite end of the spectrum. They are juicy and saturated corals, tangerine, lemon yellow, bright reds, incredible turquoise. These colors are outrageous and they form the basis of the quilt that we will be building for our Machu Picchu mystery. The design of our quilt this year, like many years, comes out to about a twin size, 60 inches by 72 inches. And the entirety of our quilt itself is built around a central medallion. From there, we will be inserting elements that reflect not just our mystery story, but the magic of Peru. So you can enjoy the quilt even after you've forgotten the plot of our story years from now. I promise. This will be an heirloom piece of quilting that you will be thrilled to treasure for years to come. And it even has a secret element of the design that will be revealed at the end of the year. As we go along, you'll have the opportunity to practice lots of traditional piecing, the kind of piecing that many of us learned to do when we first made quilts. You'll also have the opportunity to practice foundation paper piecing. Those blocks are optional. And because it's our 10th anniversary year, we're offering you double the number of blocks we ordinarily offer. So for many months, when you have a foundation paper piecing option, you might also have an applique option or a traditionally pieced option that you can utilize instead, depending on your tastes and preferences. You also will have the opportunity to make all the blocks because all of these are included in your membership, meaning that if you wanna make double, double, double the quilt, you absolutely can do that while we solve the murder at Machu Picchu together. Every month during our 12 months together, you will get a brand new block and chapter when you log into the Murder Mystery Quilt website. Here's what that looks like. When you come to the Murder Mystery Quilt site at MurderMysteryQuilt.com, which is the same place where you created your account when you registered initially, you will click the member sign in button. That button will redirect you and you'll see a little flash on the screen that says log in. From there, you'll be redirected to our main landing page. At the top of this page, you'll see a number of pinned posts. It's sort of like an old time blog. Um, some of the posts are pinned to the top of the page, so they're always going to be easy for you to find. One of those is going to say, find your blocks here. In 2025, unlike in past years, we have set up the Murder Mystery Quilt as a course, which means you'll have a really easy location that you can bookmark on your, on your web browser so that you'll be able to find it whenever you want. We've pinned that to the main page so that anytime you log in, it is the first thing you see. We're working hard at the Murder Mystery Quilt to make sure that all of the content is organized in a way that it's very simple for you to find and locate exactly what you need when you need it. Each month, you will also receive an email in your inbox that links back to the login page. It does not include the block or the pattern files themselves. We work really hard to make sure those stay protected on our website so that you and other members have exclusive access to them. The email is simply a reminder, a little alert bing, that says, hey, we're thinking about you. Come over, get your chapter, get your block, and join in on the fun. Your new content will arrive at noon Eastern time on the second Wednesday of every month, beginning January 8th, 2025. From there, you can predict on your calendar, it's definitely on mine, that every second Wednesday at noon Eastern, there will be new content waiting for you. And you'll be able to log in and download the files and get started right away. You should know that the files for the Murder Mystery Quilt are what's called a forced download. Here's what that means. If you're accustomed to um, downloading a PDF or reading a digital file on the internet, very often when you click the button that says download file, it will open in a new browser window. So it just like pops up in front of you. That is not what happens with the files on the murder mystery quilt. Instead, ours are what's called a forced download. It means that when you click the button, it triggers your browser to pull the file to your hard drive. It means that as soon as you access the file, it belongs to you and it's yours forever. It also means you may have to learn what your device's default settings do with files like that. Most of the time, it goes to a folder that's on your hard drive, if you're working on your computer, called Downloads. And so if you go to your you know, navigation window and you just click Downloads, the very first file there when sorted by date, the very first file there when sorted by date is going to be the most recent thing you downloaded, which is to say the files for the murder mystery quilt. 
That might not be the case on your mobile device, however. Sometimes on mobile device, you have a files folder, but like you haven't ever used it before, so you didn't even know it was there. In order to locate those files, you can go to your main screen, pull down the search bar, and type in keywords like murder, murder mystery, murder block, murder July, and it will pull up that file for you based on the file name. Here at the Murder Mystery Quilt, we work hard to make sure that our PDF files are named in a way that is highly searchable for you. They're not gonna say file XJ7912. They're gonna be called Murder Mystery Quilt Block 11 July 2024. Like it'll be very easy for you to track these blocks down in your file menu once you learn how. You really only have to do that once because once you've determined the default setting on your device for where files like that go, you'll be able to find them in the exact same place every month. You should also know that files that you download during your membership, as long as your membership remains uninterrupted, will always be waiting for you at the Murder Mystery Quilt. So if you download the file and you move on to a different project or you go on vacation or you have a life emergency that means that you didn't get started sewing right away and later you think, I have no idea where I put that, you can come back and get it again. We're happy to have you. For your mystery chapters, those files actually come in two different formats. Every one of the block patterns for the murder mystery quilt comes in PDF format. So it'll be formatted on your screen or on your page exactly the way we designed it so it's easy for you to read. You can read the pattern files on your digital device if you want to save paper, which allows you to zoom in and pay more attention to the places where you need more clarity, or you can print them to paper and keep them in a binder so you can reference them later. For your chapters, you have two different options, depending on whether you prefer digital or print. The chapters will come in a PDF format for you, which you can either print to paper and put in a binder or read on your screen, for example, on your iPad. They also come in a .docx Word format. We discovered a few years ago that many of our e-reader users prefer to pull the files into their e-reader, like a Kindle, and that .docx can be used that way. We include instructions on the Murder Mystery Quilt for how to do that, and if you can figure out how to put them in your e-reader, the .docx file is waiting for you so that you can keep all of your content digitally if that's what you choose. Anytime you have any questions or trouble whatsoever, you can absolutely contact us here at the Murder Mystery Quilt. Now, we are a very tiny staff, and by tiny, I mean itty bitty tiny. There are three of us working behind the scenes to help you out. Only I am here full time. We also have Lindsay and Christy who are working behind the scenes on your bonus clues. More on that in a moment. They are available through our contact form so that you can easily get the information you need. Things like changing your password or accessing your account are very easy for you to do on your own. You can find that at murdermysteryquilt.com slash account at any time. Or if you really have a question that you can't seem to answer through the account page, you can contact us using the contact form, which is also available on the Murder Mystery Quilt site at murdermysteryquilt.com slash contact. The contact form is your number one go-to for questions that need to be answered. You can also hit reply to any email you have ever received from us, and that'll go direct to my inbox so that I can see it and either forward it on to Lindsay or Christy so they can get you all squared away or answer you directly to make sure that you are taken care of. We do caution and urge you to remember that you should never, ever, Ever, under any circumstances include your credit card or payment information in any communication you send to us. We can't guarantee that any of these communication pathways, including email, are 100% secure. So if you have questions about payment information, ask them, but don't include the payment information itself. We don't handle your credit card directly, but we will lead you through the steps necessary to keep your payment information completely secure.
In addition to our Teen Tea Tiny staff, we have some member moderators. These are volunteer individuals who are part of the Murder Mystery Quilt who have offered their time to you in an effort to build warmer, deeper community and make sure that your questions get answered. One of the greatest things that has ever happened in my life is to watch the community at the Murder Mystery Quilt and how it has grown. I cannot overemphasize how warm, intelligent, kind, generous, caring, and dedicated the members of the Murder Mystery Quilt are. We've discovered that lots and lots of our members are first time quilters, people who've never made a quilt before and they came to us and said, I wanna make my first quilt with you. And watching those members join our community and then seeing all of our experienced and intermediate quilters come forward and give them tips, tricks, techniques, links, resources, help, assistance, encouragement, support, and enthusiasm has been one of the brightest moments in my professional career. I cannot encourage you enough to ask questions of other members inside the Murder Mystery Quilt because I guarantee not only will you find the help that you need, but you will find friends waiting for you. Among those are our member moderators. Again, these are volunteers. They're participants in the Murder Mystery Quilt who love the community we are building here so much that they offer our time inside our smaller Facebook groups to make sure your questions get heard and don't get lost in the shuffle. Our Facebook groups are one of the places where you are guaranteed to meet your people. We have created four separate clue crews for the Murder Mystery Quilt. These are optional, voluntary add-ons to your membership, completely free and included in your subscription. They allow you to get the Murder Mystery Quilt at a smaller scale so that you can meet and talk to people just like you who want to read a mystery, solve one with quilting, and share ideas and other projects along the way. It is a private screened Facebook group that only includes members from the Murder Mystery Quilt, and it's such a great place to make friends. It's also a place where we participate in something called Clue Crew Challenges. During the year together, you have the opportunity to compete with the other Clue Crews to see which one actually shows up the best. We offer fun challenges throughout the year that are related to our theme so that you can get to know one another better, maybe let us get to know you better, show off your whimsy and your creativity. For example, the year that the Murder Mystery Quilt went to Egypt, one of the Clue Crew challenges was using anything you have around the house, build a pyramid. Take a photograph, upload it to your Clue Crew group on Facebook. The Clue Crew with the highest percentage of members participating wins a digital badge that you can print out on fabric and add to your quilt, add to your digital profile, and that can be your profile picture. You can print it out on paper and put it in your quilt binder if you're keeping one. It's a great way for us to get to know one another better. And the ones for that particular challenge showed our quilters personalities in ways I couldn't have predicted. Lots of people made them with household items like straws or marshmallows. Some of them would take like their kids stuffed animals and make a pyramid out of those. One woman lived on a farm and asked her husband if he would please use the tractor to stack their hay bales into a pyramid. She climbed to the top of it, terrifying, stood on top and had a photograph of herself at the top of her pyramid. And it was amazing, people went crazy. Clue Crew Challenges are always fun opportunities for us to get to know one another better because one of the goals of the Murder Mystery Quilt is we want to know you. Another goal of the Murder Mystery Quilt is that we all finish together. So many of us with quilting and crafting in general have a lot of unfinished objects lying around and I don't want the Murder Mystery Quilt to be one more UFO that you have waiting for you. So we've built in some carrots for you, some temptations that will help to draw you along throughout our year together and encourage you to work on your block each month as we go so that you can avoid falling behind if at all possible and encourage you to finish the year with the group. One of these is our bonus clues. When you participate in a Facebook Clue Crew, you have the opportunity to post a photograph of your finished block before the next block pattern arrives. When you do that by email, you will receive a bonus clue that will help unlock parts of the mystery and lead you to perfect your guess for who you think the killer might be. Every time you post and get a bonus clue, you are also 
added to our prize basket bucket for the drawings at the end of the year. At the end of our year together, we have two prize drawings that we do. Now these prize baskets are off the charts. They are really good. They're filled with brand new fabrics, some of them collections that haven't even been released yet, tools, notions, goodies, I even travel to every destination that the Murder Mystery Quilt has ever included in our projects and buy prizes specifically for our winners at the end of the year to include in these prize baskets. So at the end of our journey to Machu Picchu together, there will be treats from Peru waiting for our winners. We draw from two separate buckets of names for the prizes that we send out at the end of the year. The first bucket is the name of every individual who guessed the killer correctly. You have the opportunity during our year together to put in your guess for who you think done it at the end of our mystery. Now you only get one guess, but you can make it at any point during the year. If you guess early, you get extra entries in the bucket as long as your guess is correct. By December 31st, ding, when New Year's Eve strikes, you must have made your guess in order to be eligible. And then after the new year, we draw from the list of all the names of people who guessed correctly to find the winner for our first prize basket. For our second prize basket, we draw from a bucket of names of every individual who made all 12 blocks for the year. That way, even if you didn't guess correctly, if you finish together with the rest of us, you have the opportunity to win one of our prize baskets. These prize baskets are my gift to you and they ship internationally. It is my delight to offer them to any registrant in the Murder Mystery Quilt at the end of our year. As we get ready to begin with our very first block together on January 8th, 2025, you should know we've got lots of other content waiting for you that you can start on right now. So I've got three pieces of bonus content that are available for you. Number one, because so many of our members are brand new to quilting, we have our How to Quilt video series. How to Quilt is a 12 block sampler quilt that goes through traditional classic quilt blocks and also drills down on some foundational quilting skills. A lot of us in our quilting are either newer to quilting or we kind of picked up stuff here and there, but we didn't really have a formal quilting education. The How to Quilt video series is very intentionally designed to walk through specific quilting skills to help you fill in any gaps you might have in your experience and knowledge and refine those skills skills before we start our year together. Even if you have made hundreds of quilts in your life, the How to Quilt video series sampler quilt is a great quilt to whet your palate for what we'll be doing together through our year at the Murder Mystery Quilt. The second bonus we have for you is our quilted advent calendar. This is a quilt as you go applique project with the templates included as part of your registration at the Murder Mystery Quilt. Dozens and dozens of members over the years have taken advantage of the advent calendar, which is based on the one that my mother made when I was growing up and that I made for our family. I share those templates with you here at the Murder Mystery Quilt as a course. So it's the setup for the advent calendar is identical to how our Murder at Machu Picchu blocks will be set up. And it's a great way to get acquainted with the format and the interface so that it feels familiar when January rolls around and our first block arrives. Finally, the third bonus that's available for you as you are waiting for Murder at Machu Picchu to launch. This year, we have a bonus quilt. You can bundle, bundle, bundle your membership together. Even if you didn't do it when you initially registered, you can add on Murder in Egypt. This is a previous mystery that's been in the vault for a few years that's ready for you to start right now. It is another Kitty Camel mystery. It has 12 blocks that go together with a solution at the end, and we invite you to start it right now. You get to start your murder mystery quilt, Murder in Egypt, as soon as you register. Each block is available one week after you finish the block before. So you could potentially finish the entire thing even before Murder at Machu Picchu begins, or you can finish it at your own pace whenever your schedule permits. I am thrilled to offer all of this bonus content for you right now so that as we wait to begin our year together solving the murder at Machu Picchu, you have plenty of things to get you excited about the time we'll be spending together. 
I hope this information has gotten you excited about the murder mystery quilt for 2025 and that you are as over the moon as I am about spending the year quilting and solving crime together. It is my joy, my honor, and my privilege to be part of this organization and this community. Seriously, the kindness and generosity of the quilters in the murder mystery quilt is unparalleled. And I tell anyone who will listen that these are the nicest quilters on the internet. It gives me great joy to welcome you to this group because I know, I know that you also are going to be one of them. Let's get started together with the 2025 mystery quilt. If you have questions, comments, concerns, or feedback, you can reply to any email you've ever gotten from us or use the contact form on the murder mystery quilt website. See you soon.